Okay, I know what you're thinking. The shirt and the mug. What time of year is it? I'm filming this in February, specifically US President's Day. So with that, hi. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before. Today I was just in one of those moods. You know when you get in a Nicolas Cage mood? That's the kind of mood I'm in right now. <laughs> it's pure coincidence that it happens to be US President's Day and I'm filming this but it's just kind of one of those beautiful things that works out, you know? So today we're watching one of the most classic Nicolas Cage movies, National Treasure. Now I have seen National Treasure before. I have bits and fragments of some movie. I don't know. There's three movies. One of them. I have like two clips in my mind. One is Nicolas Cage figuring out like this super secret desk contraption. Another one is, I forget who, someone says, I'll drive. And he gets on the left side of the car and Nicolas Cage gets on the right side and they're in Britain. So they drive with the wheel on the right side of the car. So Nicolas Cage goes, we're in Britain. That's all I remember. I don't know which movie those two things are in. That's all I remember. <laughs> I do know obviously the premise is them trying to get the Declaration of Independence. How could it get more patriotic than me watching this on President's Day? I don't think it could. I really don't think it could. So if you want to get all Nicolas Cagey with me and watch this movie full length with me, then checking out the Patreon is the way to do so. The link for that will be in the description below. Okay, so we're gonna keep the intro short. We're probably gonna keep the outro short because I just wanna get into this and experience this and watch this with you guys. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. I don't know how any of you would know this, but I actually have a history degree. So I love history. <laughs> I love these kinds of movies. I really do. Is this baby Nicolas Cage? Looks just like him. How old is Nicolas Cage? If someone knows that off the top of their head without looking it up, I'll be impressed. I wouldn't be surprised if someone did though. Well, that's the Declaration of Independence. Movie's over. Bye. It was 18. 32 was the last surviving sign of the Declaration of Independence. Mm -hmm. He woke up his stable boy and ordered him to take him to the White House. He never got the chance. In the car. But Charles Carroll had a secret. My grandfather's grandfather, Thomas Gates, a treasure. All right, Grandpa, you got me intrigued. <laughs> My ears are perked. It grew larger. It vanished. What? How? You see, the knights who found the vault believed that the treasure was too great for any one man. Over the next century, they smuggled it out of Europe. By the time of the American Revolution, treasure had been hidden again. Over time, the clues were lost or forgotten until only one remained. The secret lies with Charlotte. What? The all-seeing eye. Symbols of the Knights Templar. They're speaking to us through these. I have chills. Chills. So, I don't know. This movie got me confused now. Is that true? Because with the dollar bill thing, connecting it to a US dollar bill, something that is actually real in the real world, I don't know now. <laughs> Grandpa, are you telling me the truth? Are we knights? You want to be? He asked him to knight him. What if the grandpa was like, nah, you haven't earned it yet. <laughs> He's like, why? What have you done with your life? He's like 12. What have you done with your life? Huh? Why should I knight you? There he is. Yes. <laughs> okay, so they're trying to... How they land here? How long has he been searching for this? So there's a national treasure. What is the context of him trying to steal the Declaration of Independence? What is the point of that? There she is. He handled that well. I love him. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be like, it's just a dead body. What's all the fuss about? I see, they thought that the treasure would be on the ship where they try to transfer all the treasure when the 
Crusades found it. Okay, now what the fuck is that? I love how it just like takes you right into it. Just like, bam, the treasure hunt starts. Like present day and this is what we're going for. Bam, bam, bam. There's like no boring buildup of like, this is his life growing up or this is his life uh, before he decides to embark this journey. It's like, no, we're going straight into it. We're here. National treasure, baby. Let's go. No, it's a clue. Mr. Matlock can't offend. Okay, how can you read that? What legend? Let him cook, let him cook. Hey, hey, give him some room. Let him cook, let him cook. Mr. Matlock can't offend. Timothy Matlock was the official scribe of the Continental Congress. And to make sure he could not offend the map, it was put on the back of a resolution that he transcribed, a resolution that 55 men signed. The Declaration of Independence. That's how he gets to that, okay. We could borrow it. Ha! Check it out from the library. I'm not gonna let you steal the Declaration of Independence. Without me. Really? Really? I mean, they found out all the info. There's more to the riddle. Information you don't have. Yeah. I do. I'm the only one who can figure it out, and you know Will that. the heartbeat in the back? <laughs> all that gunpowder. You shoot me, I drop this, then... Ha! He's like, no, I don't know if I like this plan. All right, all right. The treasure is shock and catch oh, oh oh shit run did he not have a plan well hold on is there a way to get out i mean how did he know this was gonna work out so uh in his favor oh when explosion is this early on in the movie you know it's gonna be good oh they take off they took off with both of those how the hell are they gonna get back then so they're not trying to steal the declaration they're trying to stop someone from stealing the declaration is it really so hard to believe that someone's gonna try to steal the declaration? How they get back? Dr. Chase can see you now, Mr. Brown. It's a girl. A girl. Oh. Someone's gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. If we were given the privilege of examining the document, we would be able to tell you for certain if it were actually in any danger. We believe that there's an uh. encryption on the back, cartograph, a map. You're just giving her all the info. Mr. Brown, I have personally seen the back of the Declaration of Independence, but no map. Well, that's the thing. It's like encrypted. I was going to say, I mean, this is super old. It's the Declaration of Independence, you know? Do, don't you think that historians for years would have examined the shit out of that thing? So how is Nicolas Cage, what does he know that these historians from years and years and years don't know? Those who have the ability to take action have the responsibility to take action. I'm gonna steal it. Well, we just told them someone's gonna steal it, and then it's gonna look very suspicious that you're like, you know what? I, you, you know, I'm gonna steal it. You just tipped off the FBI and this girl that someone's gonna steal the Declaration of Independence, and then you're gonna steal it. You just decided right now. Don't you think it's gonna look a little weird, a little suspicious, a little odd? It can't be done. Let me prove it to you. In a song. <laughs> that. <laughs> For some reason, I thought he was gonna just break out into song. It just seemed so. When it's not on display, it is lowered into a four foot thick. Is this true? Best time for us or Ian to steal it would be during the gala when the guards are distracted by the VIPs upstairs. Don't you think that they would have enough security, enough guards to have some guarding the declaration, have some attending this gala? Do you think they're short on staff? I mean, I don't know. Well, I think you should also have some sort of plan to replace it with like a dummy because what if the people that preserve it come back and they're like huh well it's gone you know i i would hope that they would have a plan to at least replace it with like a fake one so that it's not just like oh it's missing completely i'm not gonna question the logistics sure he found a way to do this okay <laughs> watching this movie it does something to me it makes me so happy it just takes me back 2004 baby let's go <laughs> Wow. For the woman who has everything else, thanks for listening. I see what game he's playing. You know, you gotta sweeten her up a little bit <laughs> for when you break the law. She'll be like, you know what? He's not that bad of a guy when he gets convicted. He's not that bad of a guy. He gave me, uh, what is it? Washington's cufflink or something like that. <laughs> how often do they do this? And how much of this is accurate? Like, how much of this do people, uh, like, I don't know. How much is this accurate? How much is it that they actually do preserve it? There actually is, like, some weird contraption that, like, shoots it down and locks it up in a vault. There's gotta be a way to find out if this is true or not. How much of it is 
fiction. I'm gonna have to show ID. Go ahead. Wow, too easy. We've got the highest security, best security in the whole wide world. I mean, if you're also following along, I am also watching the Chucky season three. And that also takes place in the White House. It's too easy to uh, sneak stuff in, I guess I'll say. How do you look? Not bad. Hmm. He's like, what do you think? Grabs the camera. So they're doing it on the same day. Their plan is to just straight up break in underground or something. Here you go. Oh, uh, Dr. Herbert, this is Mr. Brown. Showing him up. So you can take that off his hands. Here's to the men who did what was considered wrong in order to do what they knew was right. You're being, your messaging, your words are encrypting, alluding to some sort of uh, suspiciousness. He's being very suspicious. He needs to chill out on the like, basically alluding, oh, someone's gonna steal the decoration. I'm doing the right thing. And she's like, you already told me someone's gonna steal the decoration of independence. And now you're at this party all of a sudden and you're like, I'm doing the right thing. The right thing. I'm like, okay, suspicious. Okay, so they're getting the other guy's fingerprints so they can open the contraption, right? Well, or you can just do it that way. I mean, is he not kind of like playing Abigail a little bit? I mean, even after all this, do you think that she'd be like, I mean, Obviously, aside from her getting the gift, but wouldn't that also allude to be like, you're just trying to butter me up. It wasn't like a genuine, well, I want you to genuinely have this because I have interest in you. All I would see now is you're just trying to uh, steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Get out of there. Get out of there now. How did you take the whole thing? Uh-oh. All this time you were just waiting for the elevator. There he goes, 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 is that gonna come back later? We're like, well, I paid for it, so it's mine now. If that comes back later and it's an actual plot point, ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god, you did not <laughs> give me that! Yours. He got an actual fake one, right? Oh my god, so they think she has the actual one. That's a fake one, right? He bought a fake one. Just who might you be? You don't even know who the director of uh, U.S. Archives is. You should have been stealing the Declaration of Independence. Bad getaway driver. I mean, you're gonna need a good getaway driver. How is she gonna- Oh shit! What the fuck? Is she still hanging on to it during all this? Thank you. Rapper. Wait, so she's gonna join the heist, right? Oh shit! That's a fake one. Yes! So is she like gonna join this heist or whatever because she wants to keep an eye on the Declaration of Independence and make sure it's all right? I mean, it's kind of under her hands. She's a director of archives or president of archives. I don't know, whatever the fuck her thing is. Doctor something of archives. Okay, my name's not Brown, it's Gates. You're that family with the conspiracy theory about the founding fathers? Huh. Did we get a description from the other guards? Which guards? The guards that were fired upon. There weren't any other guards on patrol down here. You have one guard protecting the Declaration of Independence. One guard. He paid with a visa. A credit card slip? Yikes. I will let you hold on to this if you'll promise to shut up. Please. And she's gonna run. Really? And you decide to go that way? Not, I don't know. I'm not going. Not without the Declaration. So she is going just to protect it. Look, if you wanted to leave me behind, you shouldn't have told me where you were going. You know, he's not as smooth as you would think that he was supposed to be. I mean, it's Nicolas Cage. He's supposed to be smooth criminal, literally. He did the credit card thing where now they have his name. And then he also just let her know where they're going to go. He let the other guy know that the Declaration of Independence has the map in the first place. He's not as smooth as you would think. I'm in a little trouble. Is she pregnant? Ha! I need the sounds do good letters. Yeah, it's about the treasure. Legend was invented to keep the British occupied searching for buried treasure. Treasure is a myth. But what if it isn't though? I mean, it would make sense that all this was created for like a, a wild goose chase, you know? If there is a secret message, it'll probably be marked uh, by a symbol in the upper right hand corner. You need heat. <laughs> yeah, they are gonna do that. 
What? It's in like two seconds. I mean, it's so, it's another, I mean, it's so simple, right? I mean, lemon juice and heat. There's no scientist that had the declaration. It didn't try like probably the simplest thing that could be tried. Oh my gosh. You know, you don't question it. Don't question it. Don't question it. Yeah, where are the letters? I donated them to the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. So the clue that they found in the Charlotte mentioned these letters. And then the clue from the Declaration of Independence also connects to these letters saying what letters to like look for, what line. Did they ask a kid to do that? One more dollar. Thank you. For one dollar, this kid's doing that? I love that this kid's in on it. They're enticing this kid into a crime and he doesn't even know it. This kid is a criminal now and he doesn't even know it. He is a part of this and he doesn't even realize. Oh, great. He's suspicious of the kid now. I didn't think he would catch on at that. Ugh. This is like the perfect movie for me. I love American history and all of this has different like I don't even know what to call it, like monuments, not monuments, but like different, I don't know, important pieces of history, artifacts, and they all tie in together. Like, this is my shit. This is my shit. I love, this is gonna be like so unimportant. The jacket back there on display at the store, she's wearing the same one. I just like that they show that, that she's truly wearing, like it makes it feel more real, like she's wearing something that she bought at the store, not just like something created by like a, a designer, a costume designer. If we look at this clock tower, we may find the specific time. Really? 2.22. What time is it now? I, I know something about history that you don't know. I'd be very excited to learn about it, Ryan. Huh. I'm just taking this moment. This is, this is cool. Oh my God, just tell us, sir. We're on a time limit. The FBI, the government is after us. They're so close. They're like, I mean, they're right on their tail. It's not even like they're Nicolas Cage and all of them. It's not even like they're so far ahead, so many steps ahead of the bad guys. Well, okay, that was, again, what was it, folks? Too easy. It was too easy. All these movies are really showing is how little security these monuments have. <laughs> Wait, so what are we looking for? The sun's gonna hit something in a certain way at a certain time. Too easy. They're doing this right there in the museum? What? It's just that the last time this was here, it was being signed. He's like, I just came. <laughs> it says here at the wall. I'll take this and those. You keep that. Take care of her. I will. Oh, of the declaration. I was like, what would she be thinking her is? Oh gosh. I mean, it's, it's important if they have either. I would think that the declaration is the most important thing that they would be able to get out of this, right? Oh my God, run! If someone trips, good spot. Oh shit, good spot to hide. Oh shit. Just trying to hide from my ex-husband. Who, Baldy? Yes. Honey, stay as long as you like. Ha! Do you want some? Shut up. Ah! I see why you left. Yeah, and he's rude as fuck! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. That's my favorite character. Where is he even going? He's on the roof! I wish that he said, fuck. This is when they should be allowed to cuss. Wait, really? No! Are you kidding me? Oh! Okay, grab it out, grab it out, grab it out. Uh-oh. Nick. Oh. If, if... I just thought of something. Ha! <laughs> okay. So I get the whole point is that Nicolas Cage is this, like, expert riddle decipher, right? He can solve riddles in his mind like that. And these other guys, these bad guys, with all these riddles, they're just looking them up and boom. They're getting the same answer. Why don't they just do that? <laughs> I mean, unless it comes up later where there's a riddle that you cannot find the answer to just by searching it up on the internet and you just have to know or something. I don't know. Cause then I'm like, they're kind of just doing the same thing. Why can't they just look it up too? Like they know where to go. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I hope it comes into play later. I'm sure it will of like, th we have the next clue, but what does this mean? Nothing's coming up on the internet, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. So what'd it say? Here at the wall. 
Yeah, I'm like, why would there's different colors for a reason? They just look through one color. Ugh, that makes me so mad. Also, I hate this in the yeah. context of the movie, but I just hate uh, that. In the and I mean, not like I hate this part of the movie. I hate that we're wasting time. Like we've got to go, go, go. They have the Declaration of Independence. Such a long thing. I'm just gonna start saying the Declaration. I'm not gonna say Declaration of Independence anymore. It's just too long. And tell the FBI agents listening in on this call. If they want the declaration back, then you come alone. They're like, yeah, we'll come alone. The loudest chopper hanging over them. <laughs> they really think that he's gonna come alone after the FBI just listen in on this call. They're like, all right, we gotta, we gotta appease this guy. All right, fine, go alone. <laughs> They're like, all right, don't worry, we'll be secretive. <laughs> water okay oh okay that's his friend i was like he just has someone underground for him but this was planned right if it wasn't then that's a crazy coincidence you're all right yeah i mean you're saying yeah uh, i'm tracking you through the gps and shaw's phone they took a turn anywhere we don't want we'll know it okay wait are they not hearing all this they're just letting him talk and create a plan right in front of them oh great dad. Uh, he said dad <laughs> Yeah, we know it's your dad. Parkington Lane. Beneath Parkington Lane. Your dad's like, I don't want to be here. I think this is all just a myth. I want to go home. Parkington Lane. Okay, you're just going to destroy it. Is it big enough for y'all? The dad is coming too? Why? See, he keeps being like, it's a myth. It's just going to lead to more clues. It's nothing. It's not real. But then he's like, mm, I do want to crawl in with you guys and see. Just in case it's actually real. Pick a lane, bro. Pick a lane. Come here. Is Nicolas Cage a good actor? I don't know. <laughs> it's making me question everything. Yeah. Come here. Uh, Oh my gosh. Maybe in this movie, I don't know. In other movies, sure. This one, I'm not too sure. He's saying everything very plainly in this movie. Also, that was such a random time for a kiss. It wasn't even like any lead up, any like any last words. And he's like, yes, give me a kiss. Like nothing leading up to it, you know? Wow, look at the elevators. How do a bunch of guys with hand tools build all this? You see gays? Ha! <laughs> oh! That actually scared me. I was not expecting that. I mean, that thing is like never ending. Oh my God, the dad, no. Ah, it's stressing me out, dad. Oh, Jesus, Tower of Terror. Oh shit, please, we don't want it to be just be lost in oblivion. Grab it. Oof, okay. Thank goodness some of these are sturdy enough still. So. Ah! Thanks, dad. I'm sorry, I, I dropped you. I had to say the declaration. No. See, his acting is just like so plain. I'm sorry I had to drop you. I just had to get the declaration. You came all this way for a dead end? Yes. Let him cook, let him cook. Hold on. Riley, there's nothing more. Oh, he's playing him. You're not playing games with me, are you, Ben? The lantern. Dad. Lantern is the clue. What does it mean? Frost. Really? Like, they got all that from the lantern? Are they just... I wonder if there's another clue. Then I'll know right where to find you. There's another way out. Secret passageway. Secret passageway. Secret passageway. I'm telling you, if I ever be able to have a house big enough to create a secret, like, underground passageway, I'm gonna do it. Just know I'm gonna do it. I wanna make it as intricate as I possibly can. I really thought I was gonna find the treasure. And we just keep looking for it. For three movies. Wait. What? Well, I'll be damned. How soon do you think that bad guy's gonna find out that that clue was fake? Stop. Is it there? They found it. Let's go. Bow, bow, bow. It's real. I can die peacefully now. Jesus, how cute is this room? Oh my god! It keeps going! So what now? We're rich? We found it just for shits and giggles? Are we gonna tell the government about this? Riley, are you crying? Are you seriously crying, bro? Stairs. Bro, you're seriously crying? That's so lame. Just like that? Just like that. Well, I didn't want to keep it. I just wanted it for a clue. Divided amongst Smithsonian, the Take Louvre, it. the Cairo. Good job, Nikki. I'd really love not to go to prison. I was going to say, his bargaining thing should be, can I not go to prison? 
please. Someone's got to go to prison, man. Yeah, send the bad guy. I love how understanding this, they all are. They're like, yeah, you did all do all this shit and everything, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> Overall, it's fine. You don't have to go to prison because you found the national treasure. That's okay. They offered you 10%, you turn it down. It was too much. I couldn't accept it. What do you care? You got the girl. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Look, <laughs> they're just, <laughs> they're just saying, they're reading like the, not the script or anything. Well, they got like 1% of it and they're so filthy rich, but it's like they're just reading off of the pitch of it. Like, okay, and then he gets the girl. He's like, oh, you got the girl. Like he's reading the part that's supposed to be like obvious that we're just supposed to see. GG, GG. Okay. Now that that is all wrapped up, I mean, let's just be honest. I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10. This just brought back so many nostalgic feelings. And it's nice to know all the stuff that I said I remember from this movie is from, I think, I think the second or third one. It must be because obviously there's no desk contraption and they weren't in Britain. So, ugh, I mean, I just love these movies. Me, I love it specifically, even though it's fake, I just love that it ties in all these like historical artifacts and ugh, my gosh, I don't know why. It's just making me so like almost emotional how cool history is. I love US history. So cool, so, 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 so cool. I just love old things. <laughs> I just love old things and like knowing something happened and it changed the way it made history it changed it paved the way for like the future in any context of the word in any type of historical artifact i would love to learn about other countries like history and stuff like that i only know about like a couple things in relation to the united states and i understand you know public school system it's trash, which is why I went to college to learn more about this. And I read a lot of books. I visited museums. I just love learning more about it. Like I just don't like certain things to be glossed over or not looked into because it might be too gruesome. Like I want to know it all. So this is definitely a little bit of like a romanticized version of US history, I'll say. But nevertheless, I still think it's cool. And I still love this movie. And I really think it was interesting how I don't remember how bad Nicolas Cage's acting was on this movie. I know in other stuff, he's really good at being like cuckoo crazy. So when he has to be normal, it's kind of uncanny. Maybe that's just me and maybe everyone else will be like, what are you talking about? He's a great actor in this movie. Yeah, I understand. I just think that some of the delivery was like so plain to where he's like overplaying being a normal guy because he's not a normal guy. So that's just me though. Take with that as you will. I still love Nikki Cage. But with that said and done, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons and especially Mark Sylvester and James Cox. Thank you so much and make sure to go ahead and check out my Patreon if you haven't already. Okay, full link reaction to this is already up on my Patreon. Link for that will be in the description below. Check it out. Endure two hours of Nikki Cage with me. If that sounds like a lot of fun, then once again, check out the description. Okay, so what did you guys think about this movie? Do you love it? Do you hate it? What do you think about the series in general? Now that I've seen this one, I do recall I've seen the other ones, at least one of them. I'm pretty sure I've seen the other two. So I have seen this series, but it's surprising that I didn't remember pretty much anything going on in this movie, but it was still so nostalgic for me. And and I don't know. I really love this movie. So what do you guys think about this series? What's your favorite Nicolas Cage movie? Because that, that might be a little bit more of an unhinged answer. I don't know if anyone would say National Treasure. I might say National Treasure just because I love the context of this movie. He does a lot, a lot of movies. His filmography is like miles long. So give me like your top five if you have them or your number one. What's your favorite Nicolas Cage movie? I would love to know. <laughs> Thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to all of that jazz and as always, thanks for watching.